everyone. This is the uh, greenhouse, the hydroponic garden. And you can see the tomato plants are still overgrown, not very well tamed. I randomly pluck little runners or suckers off and I am about to do a drastic pruning. So this is a before shot. You can see how overgrown most of them are and how tall they have gotten and they've all got suckers jumping up off of them. <clears throat> so here is a shot of the before and I will prune these and try to take a shot of after. All right, here we go. I just spent, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes pruning suckers and uh, lower leaves, not on all of them. Like these plants were pretty far behind. These are the yellow pears. So I did not get too carried away with lower leaves. I want some of them to continue up. Um, but into the cherry tomatoes, look at what I found. I found scores and scores of tomatoes. And um, I did take a bunch of lower leaves off and a bunch of top suckers, but I didn't get as carried away as I thought I was going to. I mean, I still have all these tomatoes out here that are growing. So, and then the uh, big beefsteak tomatoes, I just made sure I topped any plants that were going up too high and took care of some suckers and uh, took a little bit off the bottom, but not too much. I, I got some uh, suckers down low. I, I don't, I don't know that I believe in removing all the suckers, at least in my situation, because I have a greenhouse and I'm not strung up so that I can lower the plants down as they grow. So having multiple branches out the bottom, I think is good for my situation here because obviously my production isn't being hurt any, as you can probably see by all these. So, but all my clippings, everything that I take off of the uh, tomato plants or any of the other plants in here, any of the waste, I uh, I do take it out and I have a compost bin out there and it all gets put in there, mixed in with my lawn grass and leaves. So there's the uh, pruning of the tomato plants and I'm going to go ahead and pluck some of these ripe tomatoes off of the cherry tree there, the, the large cherry tomato plant. And uh, looks like we have some storms rolling in so Get ready to batten down the hatches. Thanks for watching. Bye.